Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to show you how to use Tabular Editor and a C Sharp script to instantly add over a dozen time intelligence calculations into your model. Now I've collected together some notes and a bit of scripts from other C Sharp scripts that have already been created and published into the repository for Tabular Editor 3 and 2, and I modified those to do my own personal favorite ones related to various time intelligence calculations, but it's a one-click process using a macro to basically generate this for your model and instantly add them off of any base measure. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So let's create a scenario where I need to create multiple time intelligence calculations for this units measure. This can include year over year calculations, year to date, month to date, quarter to date, and various other comparisons, but I don't wanna to have to go through and create these one at a time. Now, the thing that we can use if we come up to external tools is we can leverage Tabular Editor 2 or Tabular Editor 3 to run a C Sharp script. Now, this will run in both of these. I'm going to go ahead and use Tabular Editor 3 just because I like the formatting that it provides a little bit better, plus the dark mode. So I'll go ahead and open that up here. So to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to Macros because I've already saved this. Now, if you don't have this script saved yet, you can come up to New C Sharp Script as well to create a new one. Either way, you can create it new and save it. But if you've already saved it, you will find your macros listed under here, which I have as in time intelligence measure. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and open it up. And that's going to open up the C Sharp script. Now, I originally modified this from a couple of scripts online from Benoit and Bernat. So I do want to start by just mentioning what those are and where they can be found or any other C Sharp scripts for Tabular Editor. Both of those are found in the GitHub repository for Tabular Editor scripts, where this script from Benoit allowed me to adopt this and to turn this into creating all of those measures. And the other one from Bernat that I adopted was the fact that he has a little bit of a pop-up prompt that lets me select my calendar table name and date column. So I will link you to those down in the description below, but that's where I originally got the code that I modified to fit the script that I'm gonna be running for us. But what this script will do is you'll create various time intelligence calculations for year to date, prior year, all the way down the list, and it does that for the year, the quarter to date, quarter over quarter, and month to date, and then month over month as well. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to my navigation, Tom Explorer here, go to my DAX folder, and I can select singular or multiple calculations. So if I did sales and units and I selected the run command, we will then be given a prompt to say, select your calendar table. I will select calendar, select OK, select the date key column. That's usually going to be your calendar date column, select OK. And notice that we now have in the time intelligence folder in here, we have a folder for sales and units. So if I open up sales and scroll down to here, we can see that all of these calculations were automatically created. So that prompt will then make sure that the code is properly configured. Let's go to sales month to date. You can see that because I selected the calendar to date column, that is what's being provided in here based off of the script. But I've instantly generated all of these time intelligence calculations. And then if I go to file, Click save, come back to my report, open up this folder, and there's all of the calculations that we have for each one of these in turn in the folders that I've specified where, again, we can see all these new calculations now showing up instantaneously. So it saves you a lot of effort to apply this time intelligence pattern to generate any number of time intelligence calculations that you would need for your reporting needs. Now, I do know that there are a few different versions of the time intelligence scripts out there for Tabular Editor, depending on which calculations people prefer. SQL BI has a few of them, plus the two that I just mentioned. But these are my personal favorite core calculations related to time intelligence that I like to put in most of my client models and just have them there and ready to go. And you can now see how easy it is to do it in a one-click process. So I would encourage you to check out the GitHub repository where this plus a lot of others are posted, plus other options to do for automatic configurations with the model that go beyond just creating measures instantaneously. But otherwise, I hope you like this video. Be curious to see what comments or opinions you might have on anything that needs to be added, removed, or modified from the script. If you want to dabble into that, drop that into the comments below. Otherwise, check out some of our late related videos up here in the upper right. And otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. And I will see you all next time.